In this video lesson, we're going to learn how to streak a Petri plate. Normally, when we streak a Petri plate, we want to streak it in such a way that eventually we see single isolated colonies somewhere on the plate. And since there are hundreds of millions of bacteria on the inoculating loop to begin with, it takes a lot of spreading and respreading to separate the bacteria to get single colonies. But this is an essential technique we need to master. Now, to guide you in the streaking, we normally have you label the plate, as we see here, dividing it into three sectors. And what we're going to be doing is streaking the bacteria just on sector one until we cover pretty much the whole area of that sector. Then we're going to sterilize the inoculating loop and use a sterile loop to spread some of the bacteria in sector one over sector two and spread that out. Then we're going to sterilize the inoculating loop again and use that to spread some of the bacteria from sector two over sector three. And it's in this sector we'll probably see isolated colonies. So we begin the same way. We sterilize our inoculating loop by putting it in the back to incinerator for 10 seconds. Then we pick up our pure culture of bacteria, in this case E. coli again. Remove the cap with the little finger of the loop hand. Flame the tube for three seconds. Remove a loop full of E. coli. Flame the tube for three seconds. Replace the cap and set it back down. Then we take our Petri plate and as we mentioned under the tips, we're going to raise the lid just enough to get the loop in. We're going to streak sector one, uh, which is at the 12 o'clock position, by going back and forth, starting at 12 o'clock over the whole plate, pulling it towards you until we've covered sector one. Then we're going to sterilize the loop. Stick it in the back to incinerator for 10 seconds so we kill any bacteria on the loop. Now we can't take our hot loop and immediately spread out bacteria or we'd kill the bacteria with a hot loop. So what we're going to do is let it cool either maybe 15-20 seconds or more commonly we just stick the loop in the auger at the edge where we're not going to be streaking and you'll hear it sizzle and then it's cool. Now the bacteria now in sector one we're going to rotate that plate so sector one is sitting at nine o'clock then we're going to open up the plate. We're going to take our sterile loop, we're going to drag it through sector one twice and spread that out over sector two. One, two, and then spread it out over sector two without dragging it through again. So we've taken a few of the bacteria in sector one, spread those out over sector two. Now we're going to sterilize the loop for 10 seconds again so we kill any bacteria on it. We're going to stick it in the auger to cool at the very edge. We're going to rotate the plate so the bacteria sitting at sector two are now at nine o'clock and now we can drag them over into sector three. So we open the lid. We go up to 12 o'clock over into sector two. We drag that through twice to pick up some bacteria and then spread that out over sector three without dragging it through and being very careful not to touch sector one. At that point, we're done with the streaking. We burn the remaining bacteria off the inoculating loop, 10 seconds in the back to incinerator. While we're on the topic of Petri plates, I'd also like to demonstrate how to take bacteria off of a Petri plate. In the previous lessons, <clears throat> we showed you how to take bacteria out of a culture tube and then use that to inoculate our broth tubes or our slant tubes, our stab tubes, our petri plates. But often in lab we're going to be taking bacteria off of a petri plate. And so uh, we start out the usual way. We would sterilize the inoculating loop for 10 seconds. Now the only thing we really have to do a little differently with a petri plate is we can't scrape the bacteria straight off the plate with a hot loop or we would fry all the bacteria. So once the inoculating loop comes out of the back to incinerator, we open up the lid enough to get the loop in, and then we're going to stick it 
in the auger to cool over the very edge where nothing's growing. And then we scrape off a small amount of bacteria and then we can use that for our inoculation. For example, if we're going to inoculate a broth tube, we would remove the cap with a little finger as usual, flame the tube, put in the bacteria, flame the tube, and cap. And then of course, since there's a lot of bacteria clinging to the loop since it came off of a Petri plate, we put it back in the back to incinerator for 10 seconds.